Mohamed Faith comes out to the middle. India in trouble here. 51 for 3. Mohamed Kef, man of the match in the last game in Chittagong. Habibul Basha now making some adjustments in the field and good ones. He's got a slip in place. He's got four men in the ring on the offside, two on the on. Yes, uh, this is uh, good thinking by the Bangladeshi captain. This is the wicket. See that uh, Ganguly going down the pitch, then finding that he was just a little cramped room. But still going through with that shot, more like catch and practice that. And uh, Murtaza didn't miss that. There it is, moving away from uh, the batsman. But a little far away for him. Nicely played. It should be runs. He's timed it well. It might well go to the boundary, yes. Continuing from his batting in Chittagong a couple of days back, when he got 80 and was declared the man of the match. Wide outside of stump. You can't go in there. What a great shot that was. There were two fielder there in between the gap between Gully and Twine. Great shot. And he's found the gap. Should look for two here. We've gone all the way. Top first boys here. Struggling a little bit. That ball was, was traveling. This outfield is very quick. Didn't look like anything more than two when he played the shot. It was a gentle push and it shows the quality. Just a gentle push there, forward defensive shot and it raced away to the boundary. The boss Bosch after it but he's no chance to stop that one. Yes, it looked a bit like uh, he's playing dog in the bone and uh, just gone a bit ahead of him. That's an even better shot. Now this is going to get the captain to rethink his field, especially for Khalid Mahmood. And that is why Mohamed Kev is such a good one-day cricketer. He was aware that if he hits a couple of boundaries here, the field is going to start to move. Yeah, but that field is not going to make any difference if it goes back now because this shot was in front of score and uh, between cover and mid-off, that was a great, great shot from a top player. Eased, eased away. Short of a land delivery. There. Wow. Whoa, that's four arms. There was no slip fielder there. There's a fielder coming after, there's no chance to stop that. That's four. Welcome boundary for India. I'll, uh, it is painful, I've got hit there quite a few times. I can promise you, with even the guard on, it really, really hurts. And quite a few times, in a big game, in Zimbabwe gets under pressure. And what happens twice, it happened, he asked for a guard, asked for a box while batting. He forgot, he wasn't wearing one. No. Under pressure. I said, Lindsay, how, un how, how under pressure can you get? <laughs> I mean, you have got to wear a box. That's the first thing you wear as a cricket, as a batsman. 84 for 3. He's done that and he's got away with it. That's a wonderful hit for ball. Yes, there's a feeling that deep square leg, but uh, Mamad Kaif has uh, looked at the spot, there's a long on and a deep square leg, there's nobody covering mid-wicket and he's hit it in front of square, that's a terrific shot. Hasn't even bothered to move after playing that shot, he knows that he's got a boundary there. So now the field at mid-wicket goes to a deeper position, single is there for the asking. Good use of the feet, that's what they need to do, they've got the boundary, just keep the singles coming in. Has he got him? Has he got his man? There was the attempt to come out, use his feet, changed his mind when Rafiq saw him coming, shortened the delivery. Third empire has been asked for. And remember he got out stumped to Rafiq in the first game at Chittagong. This time he was quite clearly going down the pitch, trying to look to play the ball uh, to the onside. But then as soon as, uh, I think he's back. Oh, easy, you know, I think his foot is up in the air. The um, umpire, the third umpire will have to decide whether the foot is up in the air. What do you think, Arun? 
just depends, Sunny, when the bales come off. That's a toughie for the third empire. His foot was in the air one frame ago. The bales are still not off here. Now it's come down. I think that's difficult to give. Very close. Yeah, I think the umpire will have to decide whether the the foot is in the air because it's quite clearly gone down the pitch. Then trying to run the ball down. Now at this stage, the bales are taken off. Is his foot in or not? Might be the stump cam might give you an idea. I think that's just too difficult to give. Could be just a fraction. Does it come down? Yes, it does. Here the bills are on. Now, I think it's in. I, I think he's going to find it very difficult to give that out. Yes, and I think if he has had to think that hard, that means the benefit of the doubt uh, will go to the batsman. Nadisha is the third umpire. Very tense there. Sri Ram. Yay, that's relief. He still doesn't know it. Yes, he does. <laughs> That's a huge sigh of relief. But really, he did expose his intentions too early for the Bailey Rafiq to keep it a little shorter and away from him. Almost got his man. Rafiq. Get it, get it. Goes over the top and just clears that mid-wicket fielder. That should get him four. That's the area where many batsmen want to target. The only risk is if you don't get enough elevation to clear the short mid-wicket fielder. And that's almost what happened just now. This time it was uh, a question of getting a little too close to the ball. That's why he wasn't able to get the elevation. Used his feet well. That's beautifully played. Suddenly pulling this out from his repertoire, Sri Ram. Surprising everybody. He played the reverse sweep and with that he gets to his 50 as well. His first... 50 in international cricket. Well played. Yes, and it's uh, come at a time when India have lost early wickets. And it's a cheeky way to get uh, to his first half century. The reverse sweep is not the easiest of shots to play. He's played it very well. And another one. And it's played to perfection. Wonderfully played. He almost makes it look easy. Doesn't seem to be any element of risk there. Now that's a perplexed face on Rafi. Three boundaries of uh, consecutive deliveries. The pressure definitely off now. If there was any at all. And once again, very nicely executed. Totally in control. The ball kept all along the ground. Oh my goodness, there is a mix-up. Can you get back in time, guys? Well, it'll look a lot worse than it was because Sri Ram all the time seemed to be in control. He's got three boundaries. Doesn't need to do anything silly now. Asking rate also has come down to 5.4. Yes, there really was no need uh, to look for the risky single. Oh goodness me, what has happened there? He wasn't out, the bears had come off, and then Khalid Mashud had to take the stumps off. He's thrown it away, Sri Ram. Couldn't quite understand what he did. He went for the shot and then started running. It looked to me as if uh, the previous uh, ball, when uh, he wanted a single but was uh, not uh, given the single by Mamad Kiam, I think that is what might have made him actually uh, take the stumps. Now he's taken, him, taken the uh, the stump off, he had to approve the stump and really wasn't necessary at that stage. I don't know why he started running anyway. I think he was a little bit diddled by that previous delivery more than anything else. Don't think he had his concentration right. He did have a word with Mamad Kev as he was walking past. 114 for four.